Did you just install the Pi node and you're getting this at the start of it? Well, I found the solution online and I'll show you how to fix it. Well, I'm not smart enough to come up with a solution for this. I found it online on Reddit and I'll make sure I link this thread in below. It's by crazier83. What it appears is there's no container name inside the user preference file. And that's what we're gonna add right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up my Windows Explorer. So I'll go into this PC. Inside this PC, we're gonna double click on the C drive. And inside here, we're gonna go into users. And you wanna select the folder that your username is selected as. Uh, in this case, it's Geekwar for me. Uh, it could be your name, it's whatever your username is. And then inside here, we're gonna go inside app data. Then we're gonna go into roaming. And then we have a bunch of application folders. I'm selecting Pi Network. And inside here, we're gonna be looking for the JSON configuration file. Here is the user-preferences.json file. So before we actually edit this file, we're gonna completely shut down of the Pi Node app. So I'm gonna close out of it here. It's in my bottom right-hand corner. I'm gonna right-click on it and I'm gonna say exit, and it's completely shut down now. Now what I'm gonna do is jump back over into this file, right-click on it, and we're gonna say open with, and then we have notepad. Okay, and you're probably looking at a file like mine where there is no container in here. Uh, typically what it'll have is the name and then the value. And if you look through all of these right now, I don't have a container in here at all. Uh, so right after this uh, Pi Network and then the latest, we're gonna give it a container. And the container that we're gonna give, I'm gonna be using the exact same one that I found on the Reddit thread. So we start with a comma, we have the container name, end quote and then colon, this is gonna be the value, which is stellar, and it has quotations on the end side, and you wanna make sure that you have a comma at the beginning and at the end. You wanna make sure you have quotations on each side of each word. Once you have that done, we can go ahead and file and save it. We can close out of here and close out of here. And then what we're gonna do is open up the Pi Network app again, and we'll see if it loads up. Okay, I'm just gonna refresh that, there we go. And then I'm gonna click on the node button over here and we have the same thing that we had previously. We're gonna click on continue. And now we have the node turned on. So it was able to download the container file that is required. If I go inside Docker, you'll see that we have the Pi consensus running right now, uh, which wasn't previously in here and we have it in here now. Uh, so it downloaded the correct container and now it's up and running and that's how you do it that's how you fix this problem i hope you found this video useful if you did please smash that like button thank you for watching i'll catch you on the next one